Hey Hot Rods fans, welcome to Bowling Green Ballpark as the Hot Rods continue the seven game homestand here at Bowling Green Ballpark. Our first pitch tonight scheduled for 7.05 as the Hot Rods welcome in the Great Lakes Loons, Class A affiliates of the Los Angeles Dodgers to town for the first of a four game set. It's an IGA all you can eat Tuesday tonight as some of you have figured out and already making your way out into the home run grill out in left field. The Hot Rods really really playing very good baseball right now they are at their high water mark on the season of 61 and 45 16 games over 500 fresh off a sweep of the west michigan whitecaps bowling green won three to one last night we had a chance to talk with hot rods manager brady williams after the game as the hot rods swept the whitecaps all right brady uh, again you get to get a big win against west michigan another close game you guys just find a way to grind out yeah it was an awesome job by car you know he probably the best game he's pitched all year um, to see him rebound off the last outing he had in Lansing. Tremendous stuff today. I, I want to see him finish the game, but you know, it's kind of time where you gotta, you, you don't want him to, to come away with a loss or, or, or something bad because of how, how good he pitched and what all came in did a nice job for us. When ELK Rakuto, he provided a big insurance run for the Hot Rods tonight, and he's been the man that has sparked two game ending plays. I mean, a phenomenal glove to have for you in the night. Yeah, back to back games. Bases loaded, one out. Uh, yesterday was bases loaded with uh, two outs, but today, Talk about Ryan Brett with the turn right there. You know, it's, it's awesome that you're staying in it, keeping swinging the bat well, but defensively, you should stand out. And some of that great defense that we were talking with Brady Williams about will be featured in these highlights coming up. Make sure you keep your eyes on this fantastic play made by Jake Hager. My opinion should be sent to Sports Center for the top 10. And look for that play as these highlights roll here on the video board. So the Hot Rods had some great defense, some timely hitting. Josh Chalet hit a home run, and it was Ryan Carpenter, though, the man that stole the show last night. Eight innings, one run baseball that he allowed. He did allow that run in the ninth, an inherited run, as closer Justin Woodall came in and locked down the save. Got a big double play to end the game last night. Ryan Carpenter allowing that run, get this, it broke up a stretch of 37 straight innings at home, dating back to May 15th where Carpenter had not allowed an earned run. Absolutely fantastic. And he is now 7-0 at home with an ERA of 0.67. Just absolutely fantastic for Ryan Carpenter here in front of the hometown fans. And he was a big part of the win last night. Uh, Ryan, obviously a good win for you guys. And uh, again, you, you continue to pitch well at home at a, at a big part of it. Yeah, um, felt good the whole game. Had a really good tempo going. Um, okay, well, they just ran through a little bit of trouble in the last inning. Uh, unfortunately, Ryan, you ha have a streak that I don't even know if you're aware of. 42 innings at home without allowing an earned run. It came to an end, but uh, you obviously had a, had a guy, Justin Woodall, come in and get the save behind. Yeah, he did well. Uh, you know, things have gotten a lot worse. I left two guys on base, so uh, the help that he came in and some of those was Team's obviously playing well. Uh, i got to imagine it felt pretty good to sweep a team that has swept you guys this year. It is. We've uh, we struggled with them a little bit, and uh, it's nice to sweep them here at our, at our place. So. Well, the Hot Rods with the 3-1 win last night. They are still where they need to be at this point in the second half of the Midwest League Eastern Division. They're still winning baseball games. Lansing, though, they just swept South Bend. So the Hot Rods and the Lugnuts absolutely on fire, as are the Tin Caps and the Lake County Captains. There's starting to be a little bit of separation for these top four teams in the Midwest League. Obviously, Bowling Green and Lansing, who are tied at 23 and 13, they have already clinched a playoff spot. But if the second half ended today, and we are officially into the second half of the second half, it would be Fort Wayne winning the division and the Lake County captains at 19 and 17, claiming that wild card spot. You've got South Bend and West Michigan. They're tied one game back of that final playoff spot. Great Lakes, who are in town today, seven games back of the Hot Rods, six games back of that, or rather three games back of that final playoff spot, 16 and 20. So this turns into a very big series for the Great Lakes Loons. Well, as we take a look at our starting pitching matchup tonight between the Hot Rods and the Great Lakes Loons, 
for Bowling Green, Parker Markell, coming off one of the more dominant outings of his professional career last Thursday night in Lansing. Markell was absolutely brilliant, and he put his record in the starters role over 500 for the first time this year. He's 6-5 and five so far in 2012 and is really pitching better baseball here in the second half. Right-hander from Arizona, and Parker Markell, a hard thrower, gets the ball tonight for Bowling Green. And for the Great Lakes Loons, it's Duke Von Shaman, a guy that was drafted in this year's draft, 2012, out of Texas Tech University in Lubbock, Texas. He is very fresh into his professional career, and we'll see what he can do against the Hot Rods offense tonight at Bowling Green Ballpark. Join the Hot Rods on Friday, August 3rd at 7.05 p.m. for the Russian Bar Trio. Come see this amazing international act that was featured on America's Got Talent. Secure your seats now at BGHotRods.com. That's BGHotRods.com. One final segment on the tune-up today as we wrap up the show for you and get you prepared for the 7.05 first pitch for the Hot Rods and the Loons. And we'll highlight a couple of promotions coming up at Bowling Green Ballpark, highlighting the next two Thursday nights, which also happen to be Thrifty Thursdays, featuring $2 food and drink specials. This Thursday, red, white, and blue night here at the ballpark as we honor local fire, police, and military personnel. And those sponsors of the night, State Farm Insurance, Serve Pro, Jim Johnson Nissan Hyundai, and Edmondson State Bank. That's this Thursday. Next Thursday night, also a thrifty Thursday, it's Guys Night Out. So bring the guys to the ballpark and have a heck of a time as the Hot Rods host the South Bend Silverhawks next Thursday, a part of a quick three-game homestand at Bowling Green Ballpark. The following night, August the 10th, it's our final Christian Family Radio Faith and Family Night of the season. And so those are some promotions to keep your eyes on. Keep your eyes on these two players in the game today as the Hot Rods welcome in the Loons for game one of the four-game set. Josh Chalet for the Bowling Green Hot Rods. Got out to the fast start, hit his first home run last night since June the 10th, so he looks to get things going again at the plate. It was a mammoth shot off of the scoreboard last night at Bowling Green Ballpark. And for the Great Lakes Loons, Okoye Dixon. He, like Soleil, got out to a fast start. Nine homers on the year. He was a 2012 Midwest League All-Star like Josh Soleil, and he looks to pick things up for the Great Lakes Loons as they open up this big four-game set at Bowling Green Ballpark. So there's some players to keep your eyes on during the game tonight, both power hitters and both very, very talented players for these respective clubs and respective organizations. That's going to wrap up our show today. Big thanks to our producers, Atley McAfee and Stacey Eisen. I'm your host, Hank First. Hope you enjoyed the tune-up and enjoy Hot Rods Baseball tonight at 7.05. That was capped last night by a 3-1 group. <laughs>